Today we will learn something about diabetes mellitus medications part 7. DPP-4 inhibitors or the gliptins. Channel name is Heartbeat. My name is Dr. Amrit Kesriwar. Introduction. Introduced in 2006 for treatment of diabetes mellitus. It's available as tablets for oral use. Usual dose is once or twice daily for most of these. Except for linagliptin, all are excreted by kidneys and linagliptin is excreted by the liver. Mechanism of action. Other than they improve the fasting and post meals blood sugar. Most of us know that in the patients who are having long standing diabetics, the fasting blood sugar is increased and after meals it increases further. So these improve both the fasting and post meal blood sugars. It is safe and there is no weight loss or weight increase and do not cause blood sugar to go below normal levels. Some of the medications used for diabetes cause the blood, blood sugar to go below normal and patient gets hunger pangs. These medications don't. It inhibits the enzyme dipeptidyl peptidase 4 enzyme. So this is why it is called DPP4 inhibitor. And this causes the blood sugar to come down and we will not discuss the exact molecular level discussion. It also has, it suppresses glucagon. Glucagon is a hormone present in the body which increases the blood sugar. And it can be used as monotherapy. Again, even if you are using it as monotherapy, you have to do the lifestyle, exercise and diet management without which it will not be beneficial. The various drugs in this group, we'll discuss some of them. Bildagliptin and Saxagliptin are called class 1. Linagliptin and Alogliptin are class 2. Cetagliptin, Tenigliptin, Anagliptin and Gemigliptin are class 3. Now we'll discuss some of these. Bildagliptin, 50 mg twice daily. This is the recommended dose. The absorption of Bildagliptin is unaffected by food, so it doesn't matter whether you take it after meals or before meals. It's metabolized by the liver. Duration of action is one and a half to four and a half hours. So you can give it twice a day. Severe liver disease, avoid it. No dose adjustment in mild kidney disease. And it is moderate to severe kidney disease. You have reduced the dose to half. Saxagliptin. The dose is five milligram once a day. Absorption is unaffected by food and this chemical when degraded by the body is also having an active metabolite. So the active metabolite increases the duration of action which extends the duration of action to 2 to 7 hours. It is metabolized by the liver but excreted by the kidney. And it can be used in mild liver disease. And Border to severe kidney disease, the dose may be have to reduce to half. Linagliptin. The dose is 5 mg once daily tablet. No significant metabolism. Duration of action is 10 to 40 hours. So you can see that if you take one tablet to, at 8 a.m. today, it will act till another nearly next night 2 p.m. 2 a.m. So you can see the duration of action is very long. Excreted by liver and it's basically safe in patients with mild to moderate renal failure. Alogliptin 25 mg tablets once daily is their approximate dose. Duration of action is 21 to 12 to 21 hours. So we see that linagliptin has got longer action duration of action. Insignificant metabolism. Absorption again is unaffected by food and dosing to be adjusted in kidney disease. Unlikely to be affected in liver disease. But alogliptin has a major disadvantage of that may cause increased risk of heart failure. Cetagliptin. This comes as 100 mg tablets once daily. Again, insignificant metabolism. Absorption is unaffected by the food. 
duration of action is 8 to 24 hours and you can see over here it's 24 hours maximum so it can be even taken once a day now if the dose may be decreased in coexisting kidney failure but can be used in mild to moderate kidney disease Tenagliptin. This usually comes 20 mg tablets and dosing is once daily. Duration of action is 18 to 19 hours. Metabolized both by liver and kidney. May be used in kidney disease. May affect the pancreas and may precipitate heart failure. It's available as combination medicines. So, the Vildagliptin, Cetagliptin, Tenagliptin, all these three are available as combination medicines in combination with some other anti-diabetic medications. So just to summarize, they do not interact with other drugs except for perhaps saxagliptin. Liver problem, you may have to adjust vildagliptin. Kidney problem, cetagliptin, tenagliptin and saxagliptin may be used without dose adjustment. Combination medicines for these various molecules are available most of them and again along in combination with other drugs they can be used as monotherapy, dual therapy or triple therapy. There is a major problem that they may cause severe joint pains in selected in patients. They are also known to cause pancreatitis. So we have to be very careful for that. Thank you for watching the video. Please do not forget to like the video. Feel free to give comments. Please subscribe to the channel and share the link with your friends. Thank you once again.